Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivers. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. And I'll, I'll tell you guys, this is something I've been waiting for for quite a long time. Um, right there. That is the Dexcom G7. And it is the newest of their CGMs, Continuous Glucose Monitors, that was released in the United States in late February. And I have one and I'm going to show you how I put it on. And then it takes about 30 minutes to warm up and I will show you what my blood sugar is. However, what is the value of a CGM? First and foremost, if you are a type 1 diabetic, certainly in our practice, it's almost impossible in the modern era to use our methodology of managing your diabetes to an A1C of 5.2 or lower if you don't have a continuous glucose monitor. It's possible, but you've got to do so many needle sticks, so many finger sticks um, to check your blood sugars. The CGM just makes it so much easier. So for type 1 diabetics, absolutely valuable. Unfortunately, the Omnipod 5 and the uh, Slimline uh, uh, insulin pumps have not yet caught up to this technology. They're about to, but they're not quite there yet. For those, you still have to use the uh, Dexcom 6, the previous generation. Uh, if you're a type 2 diabetic, there are two reasons, two reasons why you would benefit from a CGM. The first one is as a biofeedback tool if you're trying a low-carbohydrate diet. Every time you eat something, your CGM will immediately tell you what's going on. For example, we're pretty much carnivore in our family. And a couple of days ago, maybe a week or two ago, I was wearing my CGM and we went to a fish restaurant. Literally love it. We go there often and they have these wonderful scallops in the shell and they throw a layer of Parmesan cheese over the top. And I love them. They come four in a plate and I ate my four scallops and uh, they were fantastic. But my CGM started screaming at me. My blood sugar over the course of the next 10 minutes just went screaming through the roof. What the hell's going on? And I looked at the scallops and I realized that underneath the Parmesan cheese, they put a little layer of flour. And I wouldn't have recognized that because they assured me there were no carbohydrates on it. So that's a way that you can biohack, you know exactly what you're eating because your CGM will always tell you the truth. And if you don't believe that something uh, uh, will rise your blood sugar, the CGM will tell you. On the flip side, on the flip side, apart from stevia or the sugar reduced artificial sweetness, none of the artificial sweetness cause my blood sugar to go up. So again, if that is the important metric, uh, they're fine to use. And as you probably know, in conflict with so many of the perfect people out there, so many people, so many of the gum flappers out there who say, oh, you don't use artificial sweet milk, they're so bad for you. Well, if you're a carbohydrate addict and you're trying to come off the carbohydrates, don't worry about the artificial sweeteners. They do not raise your blood sugar. They may trigger you for some people to eat carbohydrates. And if that's you, logic dictates, stay away from them. But for someone like myself and for my wife, it helps me to stay away from the sugar. There's benefit. So the uh, G7 CGM is a very, very useful tool for biohacking and as a type 2 diabetic for knowing what your blood sugars are, but also to understand the nature of your therapy. And if you do go low, and it's not uncommon for me to be low, the next question you ask yourself, okay, I'm seeing a blood sugar of 40 or 50. Okay, now I'm not taking any medication. I don't take any, any uh, diabetic medication. So when I see a 40 or 50 on my CGM, what is it telling me? I, if I wasn't wearing the CGM, I wouldn't know. So what I urge people to do before you panic, oh my God, I had hypoglycemia. Do you feel terrible? Are you clammy? Are you cold? Are you sweaty? Are you in ketosis? And I'm almost always in ketosis. I check my ketones on a regular basis. I'm almost always in ketosis. So the simple truth is, if you weren't wearing a CGM, you probably wouldn't know that your blood sugar was low. Now, there's value. Obviously, if you've taken a medication and your blood sugar drops too low, you may have overdosed on that medication. That's a different story, of course. But through the general day, your blood sugar may go down and may rise up slightly. That is normal, healthy insulin sensitivity. When I go for a run, my blood sugar may go up as high as 140 or 150 toward the end of the run because I'm not overly fit. But it rapidly comes down. 
I wouldn't know that if I wasn't wearing a CGM. Do I panic with that? No. Do I watch it closely? Absolutely. But that's my body doing its job. And the CGM has so much value. Now, insurance companies usually pay for it, usually pay for it, if you're a type 1 diabetic or if you're a type 2 diabetic on medication. It's ridiculous that they don't pay for it, but most endocrinologists don't see the benefit because they don't treat blood sugar, they treat what you eat, which is ludicrous in my opinion. But be that as it may, okay? The CGM is incredibly valuable to people trying to get healthy. The problem with a G7 is it costs a lot of money. So for those of you paying out of pocket, I would tell you probably not worth it. Probably not worth it. And I would love for Dexcom to lower their uh, their price on this. But if you qualify for insurance, um, and if you want to try your insurance company, please give us a shout. I cannot see you if you don't have a consult. I cannot see if you don't have a consult. But if you have a consultation with me, uh, we can then appropriately prescribe uh, the G7 and maybe look at some of your diabetes medications and alter that or change that to be more effective for you including potentially the use of the GLP-1 agonists, uh, the Ozempics, the Trulicities, the uh, uh, Monjaros. Those are very, very effective in the treatment of insulin resistance. So uh, paired with the CGM, the biofeedback helps those to be even more effective, even if you're using them for weight loss. It really is a value, value, valuable tool. And in a second, I'm going to show you how simple it is to put this thing on. So let's go there. Okay, folks, so I've got my G7 CGM. It's got a little barcode on the front, and I've got a real phone. I don't have an iPhone. This is a real phone, the one that everybody else in the world uses. Uh, be that as it may, um, I've downloaded the G7 app from Google Play, from my Google Playlist. So let's go ahead and open up the G7, and it's so much simpler to put on. It looks and feels very similar to a Libra. That's my little booklet. There's a great booklet in there if you need to look at it, but it's so simple. So what you do is I'm going to unscrew it. And there it is. There's the G7. It's a simple, simple little device like this. And there should be, uh, in this package, there should also be a little sticker. Here it is. A little sticker that you're going to place around the edge of it. There's the sticker you're going to place around the edge afterwards. So I'm going to keep that here. And what I'm going to do, um, some people do, some people don't. I would urge you just to use some alcohol. And it's designed for most people to be put on the back of the arm. Now, for those of you that have criticized me on the internet for still being fat, how can you be fat? BMI of 27, be that as it may, I've got a little bit of subcutaneous fat right here. Okay? Uh, and I've lost 101, 105 pounds, 106 pounds, quite frankly, as of the 1st of May as I'm sitting here. So uh, that's just a shout out to all those people criticizing me. So now what I'm going to do is my skin is dried. I'm putting it on my skin over here. And I'm going to put it a little further around, put it on, on the back of my triceps muscle. And there it is. Voila. It's on. It's on me. Fine little piece. I'm just going to put the sticker on here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to start my sensor. So I've done that. And now what I'm going to do is to take the photograph of the barcode. There we go. And my, I'm pairing with my number 6217. And it's searching for my sensor with my pairing code. And it asks me if I want to pair and I say pair. And it's done. Now it's going to take 24 minutes to warm up. So as you watch these videos, in, uh, pretty soon, I will tell you what my number is. There we go. That's it. My G7 is on me.